In this next series of segments, we're going to take a look at using the NRV10 as an audio interface with your computer. The NRV10 is just a fantastic combination of a mixer and an interface, eliminating the 20 cables you'd need to hook a 10x10 interface to a mixer and back again. That's pretty cool. It's all built in. Before we start, though, we've got to understand a little bit about the signal flow of this thing. You want to know how the inputs and outputs of the mixer relate to the software inputs. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of that. Your signal comes in normally right to the gain knobs here and heads straight out to your, to your DAW software. So if you select input 1 in your software, you're going to get anything that's plugged in up here and this gain input. The only exception would be if you press down the pre-EQ, post-EQ switch, then you could be sending EQ to your software as well. So if you want to do something radical, you can do that here and send that off to your software. Otherwise, you're just hearing the flat signal coming straight in from the, from the channel. Or you could use inputs 9 and 10 on, the, on your interface. 1 through 8 are the 1 through 8 inputs here, but 9 and 10 is the stereo mix. So let's say we wanted to record my voice with a little, little bit of effect on it. There's our effect. Let's go to a nicer sounding verb. There we go. If we want to record my voice with a little effect on it, then we'd have to use the whole mixer to get there. So our, we're going to come in channel 1, and the mixer sums it all to the main mix, and that, for that we'd select inputs 9 and 10 in our software. So 9 and 10 are dedicated to recording the master mix out. Does that make sense? So your 1 through 8 are dedicated pre-fader inputs. You can do whatever you want down here, listen or not, and it'll still get recorded. The main mix, 9 and 10, is after the main fader, 9 and 10. And you'll see it, we'll demonstrate it when we get into the different software. The only other thing you need to know is for playback, um, we have a button here that says channel 1 slash, or it says channel slash firewire 1. So that lets you listen to the channel we're listening to now, or if we press it down, we'll listen to Firewire 1's playback. So that's interface channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8. And likewise, 9 and 10 are not really in the main section. They show up at this knob here. So if you want to monitor your software, listen to your mix, you can listen to your mix coming out of your software here versus listening to the analog mix coming out of here. You can get rid of the analog mix with the master fader, turning that down, and then you could listen to only V9 and 10 if you want to, the main mix out of your software. So you kind of have a parallel world. You have the world of a bunch of mic pre's connected to your computer, returning back to the mixer if you want, and listening to that mix, or a bunch of mic pre's mixed in your computer down to two channels and monitored on 9 and 10 over here. That's probably how most people are going to use it, but you know, some people are kind of nutty about wanting some analog summing, and for that you could send, you know, pairs of things like your drums and your keyboards and bass and whatever as stereo pairs to this thing, and then mix those in analog world and have a stereo analog summed mix come out of the main mix out. Very cool feature, not something you use every day, but when you do, it's cool.